Today I'm going to show you how to shoot bullets out of a moving object. What's up guys? In a previous video I showed you how to move an object around the screen to avoid crashing into obstacles. But what if you could just shoot down those obstacles with a bullet or a laser beam? The solution is actually really simple, so go ahead and open up Unity and let's get started. Firstly, we will be working from a previous project where we have set up a script to have asteroids deploy automatically and move from right to left. If the spaceship collides with an asteroid, we simply tell the script to restart the scene. And lastly, we created a touch script that lets us move our spaceship around the screen. It also works if you use the arrow keys on your keyboard. In order to save time, I'm going to skip over these elements in this video. All of the code needed for this video can be copied and pasted from our website. Or if you're a Patreon subscriber, you can download this entire project from our Patreon portal. Okay, let's begin. I quickly created a quick shape in Photoshop that will illustrate our bullet on the screen. Let's go ahead and import this into our project. Then let's drag this new sprite onto our scene. The first thing I want to do is change the order and layer to a negative number so it appears behind our spaceship. Then let's add a rigid body 2D and a box collider 2D to our object. Under rigid body 2D, let's set the gravity equal to zero and freeze the Y and Z constraints. Next, under box collider 2D, let's select is trigger because we want to be alerted whenever a collision occurs, but don't want there to be any physical interaction between two colliders. Then let's add a new script to this bullet object and let's just call this script bullet. Here, we will write a script that moves our bullet at a constant rate and then removes it from the scene when it either collides with an asteroid or when it leaves the screen. First, let's create a public float for the speed of our bullet and let's just set it to 50. Then create a reference for our rigid body 2D and let's call this RB. Then let's create a vector 2 reference called screen bounds and this will store the boundaries of our screen. In the start function, let's assign our RB to our current rigid body by writing this.getComponent rigid body 2D. Then we want our bullet to move at a constant speed, so let's set RB.velocity equal to new vector 2, and let's put our speed variable in the x axis parameter. Set the y parameter to 0. Then let's define our screen bounds vector 2. I've covered this in a lot of my videos, so I'm just going to copy and paste this line. Lastly, in our update function, we want to create an if statement that detects if our bullet is outside of the dimensions of the screen. So let's write if transform.position.x is greater than screenbounds.x times negative 2. Since screenbounds is reversed, we multiply by a negative to get the right side of the screen. I use a multiple of 2 here so the bullet is removed off the screen and not when it reaches the edge. This avoids us piling up a lot of objects on the scene slowing down our frame rate. And then the last thing we need to do is delete our bullet, so let's write destroy this dot game object. Now when we play in Unity, we should see our bullet move across the screen and be removed from the scene once it reaches a certain point. Now that that is working properly, let's drag our bullet object into the project window to turn it into a prefab. This will allow us to clone it every time a person presses the shoot button. Then let's go ahead and open up our desktop movement script. This is just a simple script that allows us to move our spaceship with our arrow keys. First, we want to reference our bullet prefab. So up at the top, let's put public game object bullet prefab. Then at the bottom of the script, let's create a new public function called shoot bullet. We will reference this function anytime we want to deploy a bullet. Using instantiate, we will clone our prefab onto the scene. So let's write game object B equals instantiate bullet prefab and let's set it as a game object. Now we have a bullet created on the scene, we can reference this prefab locally using the letter B. So let's set the bullet's position equal to the spaceship's position by writing b.transform.position equals player.transform.position. And then lastly, for demonstration purposes, let's run this function every time the space bar is pressed. So in the bottom of our update function, let's write if input.getKey down, and in quotations, let's write space to reference our spacebar key. Then in the brackets, let's declare our shoot bullet function. Lastly, in Unity, let's just drag our bullet prefab into the inspector and press play. We should then see that our bullet is shot out of our spaceship every time we press the spacebar. 
Now we just need to set up our bullets to make our asteroids explode on impact. So let's open up our bullet script again. On a new line, let's write on trigger enter 2D and in parentheses, let's write collider 2D and set the reference name for that to other. Make sure to spell this exactly the way I did or it won't work. This function is executed whenever our bullet collides with another collider 2D or in our case, an asteroid. So the first thing we want to do is verify that we've collided with an asteroid. So let's write if other dot tag equals asteroid. In a previous video, we tagged our asteroid prefab to a custom tag called asteroid. If it has collided with an asteroid, we want to clone our explosion animation in the position of the impact and then delete both the asteroid and the bullet objects. So first, let's create a reference for our explosion prefab by writing public game object explosion. Then back in our function, let's write game object E equals instantiate, and then let's put our explosion prefab in parentheses, and then let's set it as a game object. Referencing our new explosion clone, let's set E.transform.position equal to the bullet's current position or transform.position. Then let's delete both objects by writing destroy other.gameObject for the asteroid and destroy this.gameObject for the bullet. If we go back into Unity, simply drag our explosion prefab into the expector and press play. Now, when we shoot an asteroid, our objects disappear and an explosion occurs. Unfortunately, this technique doesn't work for touch devices, but we will cover that solution in our next video, so make sure to subscribe. To copy and paste source code in this video, visit our website, pressstart.vip. And if you found anything in this tutorial useful, please consider becoming a patron. This project is available for download to anyone who's a part of the Press Start Club.